We're going to continue on with our character here. We're moving on to the head. I'm going to put down a brand new layer on this here, and we'll just call it uh, head shape for now. And what we want to focus on is kind of defining the overall structure or shape of this uh, creature's head. I want to work it out to be a little more skull-like. So one of the first things I want to do, he has this bit of kind of a defined ridge down the area of his nose. I'm just going to smooth that out a bit. I'm using the wax. I'm just hitting my shift key and I'm just going to start smoothening that out a bit. Maybe use some of the inverse of it here just to break it up a little bit here. Um, let's go into our fall off. Yeah, we'll use a full fall off on that. And the idea is here that we want to start to get this kind of more of kind of a skull-like um, structure on him here. So I'm just using the inverse of my wax here and just kind of working with the overall uh, bridge of his nose here. We're going to work in these eyebrows and these cheek structure, the cheek structure up a bit. So with the wax right now, I'm going to put the mirroring on just to start us to uh, work in the overall um, shape of the head. So a little symmetry here is fine. We're going to distort this head once we get our overall shape. So working with the wax brush here again, I'm going to turn to my fall off that I've customized with the it's a full the full fall off here with a little bit of a smooth fall off on the edge and start to go in and kind of bring these cheekbones in a bit here let's uh, bring the size of this guy up and we'll just start working in some of these features here kind of skull like features we'll just start to define this ridge here underneath the cheek so I'm just using the inverse of my wax brush here to kind of build that up a bit and uh, push it in bring the cheeks out a little bit just kind of build up some structure there with this wax tool and then bring in right here up above his cheek and along the brow we're just going to sculpt that in a bit I'm not too concerned with smoothing this in I'm gonna scrape him up a bit um, once we start to define a bit of a rock like structure on this guy so the idea with this is that we want this kind of, or, or the idea that I'm working with here is we want kind of a skull-like defined uh, feature on this, this character here. So we'll maybe make him look just a little bit more sinister, not overly too crazy on there, but uh, we'll just kind of bring these features out, maybe push this down a bit here. I just kind of really define these cheekbone structures and this kind of ridge that comes around the uh, ocular area of his of his kind of skull features in here. Then what I want to do is for the nose area, the nostril area, we'll just start to bring this back in because we're going to have these kind of grooves, almost like teeth-like grooves in here. We're going to work in some kind of toothy structures here, just a few of them in a moment. For now, let's just kind of, I'm just inversing this here to kind of carve this back a little bit. So just really subtle changes right now on this guy, just to kind of start defining the overall head of this, the face of this creature here. The idea is that this creature's head is built out of rock, built out of stone. I want the entire head to feel like as if it's, um, you know, just comprised of just a few kind of boulders, almost like this has been weathered over time, this kind of rock-like stru structure to form this uh, skull-like feature for him here. Just build some of this out and keep inverting and building the structure in and around. This is coming along okay here for where I want to go. Smoothing that out a bit. And then for the nostrils, I'm going to bring down my wax brush. We'll use the wax for this, that'll be fine. I'm going to use the same fall off on there. And I'm just going to define some kind of rough little nostril indentations in here on them. And what we're going to do is we're going to really throw off, in fact, what I'm going to do is probably turn off the symmetry. Let's undo that. I'm going to make them a little bit different size. So with this one here, we can put it up a little bit higher on them and just kind of sculpt in and define that uh, nostril a little bit, just a smallish nostril. And this one here will bring down a little bit lower, maybe a little bit wider. 
bring it wider around the top in there. This again is an area, thing, features like this are great to build a custom uh, vector displacement. You can just grab a quick stamp and start to stamp these features in, especially if you're doing a lot of creatures that have this kind of shape or feature to them. You can access that library of different vector displacement stamps quite easily. And then maybe what we'll do here is just a little bit of ridge around the top of the, these nostrils in here. And just kind of blend that in a bit with the smooth. There we go. And then for his jaw structure here, I want this to be comprised or feel like it's comprised of maybe just a few boulders in here. So we can maybe just start to bulge out some of these areas in here. Uh, again, just the same idea of when we were using the foamy brush to work in these stones or rocks or boulders. And then I'm just using the inverse to push in some of it here a bit. Again, we'll kind of chip and scrape this up here later with some of the scrape and flatten tools again. Just for now, we'll get this, this overall shape and feel of him in there. And the idea that I want to work with here is I want his head to be quite distorted um, in here. We want to blend these roots in, almost like a hand-like structure that's kind of pulling his face up there. And that's where the grab brush is going to come in here again. We'll use our same falloff that we're using, uh, that we were just using with the wax brush there. And with that, we're going to distort the, the eye a bit. I'm using quite a big, uh, a larger radius here on my grab brush. And I'm going to distort all these features up, almost as if they're being pulled up a bit, up, up the head a bit there. So we'll just kind of open that up a little bit and push the cheekbone right up here. We're going to bring some of the roots right in and around. And let's use a smaller push that in a little bit. We'll kind of pull that up there. Kind of keep his eyes on a bit of an angle here a little bit. Don't want him looking too angry or anything too sinister, but kind of define him here. Now the eyes here, we could go ahead and sculpt in, you know, some sort of eye feature. I like the idea of them being quite sunk. Um, you know, eyes that are quite sunk in there. Let's use our wax and push this in a little bit. And then they're just, when the when we put a lot of shadowing and ambient occlusion and things like that in there, we can kind of hide or sink the eyes back in there. I'll scrape them up a bit as well to give a little bit of a scrape rock-like effect, kind of like they're cavernous kind of um, carved out uh, features in his, in his head, really. Find this eye in this this area around his eye up quite a bit. Bring that down. Maybe push this in a little bit here. And then with the grab brush again, let's actually distort. Um, pull this down a bit of the opposite way. Pull these in a bit. Keep checking the shape that we have here. Maybe pull this part of the nostril out a little bit and push this in. Again with the grab brush I'm using the that slightly soft fall off and I'm going into my screen space activating it and then I'm just gonna push push it in there a little bit maybe do the same thing here but pull it up a bit that's fine and then if we work with the head this way we can maybe pull and deform that part of his eye out a bit The grab brush is a great tool for quickly distorting your, your character, break up some of that symmetry. There we go. And we're going to kind of carve the, push these holes up a little bit in here, kind of hide some roots that are going to come down underneath that cheek structure a little bit, or one main root anyways. There we go. And then with the, the face here, 
I want to bring this side of his face down a bit so it's a little bit lower. Let's bring the brush up a bit here. Bring that up. Pull this up a little bit. Open him up a little bit. That's fine. And we'll distort this jaw over quite a bit so maybe it actually hangs a bit more on this side. And then if we start to pull that out, we're going to build some tooth-like structure in there in a little bit. So right now we're just trying to form that overall kind of silhouette that we want for this head. Get this jaw structure kind of worked in a bit here. Um, I'm going to have some teeth all kind of distorted and you know, some protruding from the lower draw, jaw here on one side and maybe some protru protruding here from the the upper jaw on the on this side over here. Just pull up, push that in a bit. Let's actually pull this guy out a bit here. Bring this the size of our brush down and maybe just work with this a little bit. 